Oh my gosh, you're able to reduce your belly. I have been working out. Insane. So welcome to another video, my name is Mario So. If you are new here, I create videos on filmmaking, photography, and all of that fun stuff. If you're into that, please subscribe for more content from yours truly. And if you already subscribed and you came back, thank you again so much for being here yet again. So recently I've been editing with this new software called Luminar Neo. I've been editing photos in Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop for a few years now, and I, I can say that I'm quite comfortable at it. But with Luminar Neo, it feels like I can get similar results, if not better, results than what I get myself on Lightroom and Photoshop with only a fraction of the time spent. But enter Luminar Neo. I have to say that I am very, very impressed. It can do a lot of things in a very short amount of time due to its AI technology. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use it and some of my favorite features in Luminar Neo. So thanks to Luminar Neo for supporting this video. And I also have something special for you. I have a coupon code where you can get a discount if you're interested in this, but more on that a little bit later in the video. So I'm going to show you how to use Luminar Neo, the workflow, and hopefully by the end of this video, you can decide for yourself whether this is something that will fit into your workflow or something that you'll be interested in getting to edit your photos. I wanna also mention that Luminar Neo has a plugin for Photoshop in Lightroom, but more on that later on in this video as well. We're right here on the interface and I've already added some of the images we'll be working on under the catalog. So here you will select the image that you wanna work on and you can go either directly to the edit tab or go to the presets tab. So if you go to the presets tab, here are some ideas or some presets to get you started with and you can fine tune them later on. So for example, if I were to pick, let's see, maybe easy landscapes, maybe clean light. Right away, if I hover over here, you can see that it does a really neat job already at editing this photo. And if you click on it, you can drag the slider and adjust that intensity. But if you did not want it to do any of this you can also jump directly into the edit tab and under here under essentials in the develop module you'll be able to find all your typical photo editing features or photo editing controls like you would find in photoshop lightroom and here you can do your traditional photo editing so let's jump into one of my favorite features so far in luminar neo so what we're gonna do now that we have this photo, work with AI masking, which is a very powerful feature that you can find in Luminar Neo, and this is how you access that. So for example, I will work with Enhance AI and go into masking. And here you can find your typical masking tools like brush and gradients, but we'll click on AI mask. And what happens now is AI magic. So Luminar Neo is using AI to identify different masks on this image. And it's completely done in just a matter of a few seconds. And you see a bunch of different options that pop up. And these are the artificial masks that Luminar Neo have, has identified on this photo. So if you click on sky, you see that the sky has been selected and it's done a pretty good job at selecting the sky, I have to say. You can also go and refine that mask, which makes this even more powerful. So if we click on Flora, it did a pretty decent job. There's some stuff here that I didn't fully cover, but not too bad. Architecture, again, it did a pretty decent job as well. Water, with water, it did a really good job, except for some parts over here. But you can see that how in just a matter of seconds, you're able to have so much, so many different elements isolated for you to further edit. Mountains, natural ground, and even man-made ground. But uh, yeah, not that much of that. This is a very complicated photo as well, but I wanted to show this as an example, just to show how this AI mass is able to quickly identify all of these things automatically, which you can go and fine tune later on. So let's say we want to make an adjustment to the sky. I can select the sky, go into adjustments, and I can drag this accent slider and adjust that sky a little bit, perhaps the sky enhancer, move it like that. And just like that, it's enhanced the sky pretty nicely. 
And let's say now you want to work with the water or maybe with the fauna or what have you. You'll have to close this completely and reopen it. And that way you can select a different mask. So this is sort of like Luminar's way of creating a different layer or targeting a different part of your image or a different mask in your image for you to be able to edit or tweak that. So click on masking. So this was already done earlier. We don't have to redo this anymore. So let's now just work with water. Go to adjustments, adjust that accent. And right away you can see that we're able to edit just the water. Pretty neat in just a matter of seconds. And we close that and open this back up again. We'll make an adjustment to the overall image. So you can see how it's already starting to look way better than what we had earlier. This was before, this is after. And another thing to keep in mind is that if you wanted to go further back and tweak the mask that you had edited earlier, all you need to do is just go back to edits right here. And we have our three instances of enhance, one for the mass of the sky, one for the mass of the water, and one for the overall image. The next tool that I am absolutely in love is Sky AI. So we'll use the same image. I have reverted it to its original form and I'll click on sky right here and you can select from different types of skies. They also have a marketplace where you can get even more skies. Right away, that's a really good job of just incorporating that sky in your image. So the masking is actually pretty nice. You can select all the different types of sky that they have over here. So we'll go with, let's just try things out. Let's go with something like, like this so I can illustrate a point that is absolutely mind blowing. These options under Sky for AI, there is a relight strength, which means that you're able to relight your entire scene based on the type of sky or clouds that you have added into your scene, which is insane. It's a subtle change, but you can see that strength of that relighting. You can also adjust the saturation that relight. And if there was a human in this scene, you can relight that human. And the other thing that is really, really cool is a reflection amount. So if you look at the water, you'll be able to see that not only were we able to replace the sky, but it also added a reflection to the water. You can also blur out the water a little bit more and further tweaks to your sky, like the focus. Add some grain, atmospheric haze, warm up your sky if you wanted to. And, and if you notice, it also warms up the entire scene. Brightness, you can adjust that brightness of the sky. I've been playing a lot with the sky replacement feature in Photoshop and also in Lightroom. I was very happy with it, but now that I've experienced this type of sky re replacement, I think I'm just going to come here to edit all my skies and replace all my skies from now on. So the next one I want to show you is remove background AI. So I have this image of myself. We're going to edit layer properties, masking, background removal AI. You can click on it, let the AI do its thing. And in just a few seconds, you can see that it's done a pretty good job at selecting me, the main object. Depending on the photo, there's also other things that have been created or that AI has identified as possible mask. So like flora, which is the grass, it didn't do a hundred percent good job, but you can further tweak that. But at least for the human, for myself, it did a pretty good job. So I can remove that. And that's it. You can see that it did a really good job at removing myself. So it did a really good job. You can also do refinements in your brush. So the next feature I really like is the landscape feature. So it's under essential. So I have this photo from Machu Picchu that was taken on a Nikon D5100 about 10 years ago, actually. So let's go into landscape. You can dehaze this photo. You can also adjust the golden hour effect to make it look like it was shot during golden hour. It's actually pretty nice. Foliage enhancer it enhances all that foliage. You can even change the hue of that green before, after, and in just a few clicks, you have 
a much better looking landscape photo. So the next set of features I wanna talk about are under the creative tab. So first let's go over the Relight AI. This one is really cool in that it can adjust the brightness of your subject depending on the depth of what it is. And if your subject is backlit, this is a really good one to use. But this one's not fully backlit. But what we'll do is, as you can see, as I adjust this, it adjusts the brightness of the image, whether it's near or further away. And the brightness far away, I can tone it down and lower that brightness in the background to put more attention to my subject before, after. And you can adjust that depth of that as well. And you can even warm up the near and let's cool off the far. So pretty cool that you can do this with just a slider. So we'll go back to this image and go to atmosphere. You can even add fog, mist or haze. And this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. You can adjust that depth of that fog, the lightness of it. So if you wanted to create something more moody, this is really cool. Another cool thing, actually let's go and delete this is this sun ray. You can add a sun. So we'll play the sun right here and adjust that amount. Adjust the length of the sun. So there are a ton of different options to add an artificial sun in your scene. And depending on your scene and depending on the look of what you're trying to go for, obviously this is probably not the best example, but just wanted to showcase that there is this option right here. So the next thing is we're going to play around with the portrait effects. So portrait bokeh. This already has some bokeh, but you're able to adjust that even more. So this is probably not the best example, but you get the idea. You can adjust the size of that. You see before and after. Going to face this one, it's really cool. There's a face light effect, so you can just light the face. You can slim down the face, like what? This is before and after. Lost a few pounds right there. You can also play a little bit with the eye, so let's zoom in a little bit. Iris visibility, iris flare. You can add some more shine in your eyes. And you can change the color of the iris. So mine is like a dark, I don't know, owl is owl. Nope, not that. Cat. Original. All right, we'll keep it as original. But let's see what it looks before and after. Before, after. So eye enhancer. Oh, I didn't enhance the eye, it's pretty nice. Focus on those eyes before and after. You can even adjust your mouth, teeth whitening, stuff that normally in Photoshop would take a ton of time to do. You're able to do most of these things in just a matter of a few clicks. Let's see what this body does. So this body, adjust the shape of your body. So I lost some pounds already in the face. So let's lose some pounds in the body. Oh, the other way. Right there. <laughs> I lost like 15 pounds or something before, after. Pretty cool. Oh my gosh, you're able to reduce your belly. If you have a beer belly, Look at that before and after <laughs> insane this is what they do when they edit those photos for the magazines by the way let's go to skin let's zoom in a little bit and let's give myself fair skin let's go all the way here first and see what it does soften my skin i think that's too much but it does a pretty good job by softening it Yep, did a pretty good job. So there are also extensions and these are extras 
that you get and Luminar Neo seems to be creating new extensions every now and then but some of the ones that are available right now are these ones right here so noiseless ai it reduces the noise in your image super sharp it sharpens your image and if you click on this it will, it, you, you you can click on this and read what it's what it does it will sharpen the image even if you have a blur in an object you have magic light which i want to show you actually so let's go into catalog maybe let's do this and go into edit magic light you can adjust the intensity of lights and these are artificial light sources that this effect works with and if you wanted to access these extensions they're all over here under extras on top so there's hdr merch noiseless ai upscale so you're able to upscale your images there is background removal which we already tried there's also focus stacking. There is super sharp magic light and panorama stitching, which is a brand new one. I haven't updated this yet, but there are always new extensions that they're creating. So that's another cool thing about this software. The last thing I wanted to show you is if you still want to keep your own photo editing workflow in Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom, for example, you're able to install a plugin when you install your software so that you can transfer your photo from Lightroom directly into Luminar back and forth very seamlessly. So let me quickly show you. So I have Lightroom open right here. So let's say I wanted to send this particular image into Luminar. I'll just right click, edit in Luminar Neo. Set my options right here, edit. Luminar Neo will then open up. So we'll choose a quick preset right there. So let's say this is the effect or the edit that we wanted to apply in Luminar Neo. Once you click on apply, Luminar Neo will send this back into Adobe Lightroom. So those are just some of the many features that are available in Luminar Neo. I can't talk about all of them in this video, but if there are some particular features you would like me to further explore or make a tutorial or more in-depth tutorial on that, let me know in the comments below. The cool thing as well about Luminar Neo is that you're not restricted to only going on a subscription plan like some of the software, <coughs> but you have the option of also getting a lifetime purchase on the software. And I have a 10% coupon in the description below, so feel free to check that out. You also get a 30 day money back guarantee if you find out that this is not for you. So this is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and you found it useful. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. That is always greatly appreciated. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>